What's up, divers? Welcome to Guide 3, Step 3, where we'll be installing one of my favorite ROV features, the camera tilt assembly. So we'll start by taking this 9 gram servo motor and holding it flush against those two tabs on the faceplate. Next, we'll use a screwdriver to thread one of those 256 machine screws through each of the two tabs on the servo and make sure each screw makes it through the corresponding tab on the faceplate. And to finish up the servo installation, uh, thread on a 256 nut onto each machine screw. Now it's time to connect the servo to the Raspberry Pi so it can be powered and controlled. First, connect the yellow signal wire to the jumper wire that connects to the GPIO 23 pin on the Raspberry Pi. Next, connect the red wire to the jumper wire that leads to the plus 5 pin on the Raspberry Pi. Finally, connect your servo's dark brown or black wire to the jumper wire that leads to the ground pin on your Raspberry Pi. And it should look something like this, with GPIO 23 uh, connected to the yellow wire, plus 5 connected to red, and ground connected to brown. Turn the internal electronics cradle onto the side with the servo motor. Use pliers to firmly but gently turn the gearhead counterclockwise until it stops. Now, hold the camera mount parallel to the faceplate. Then, wiggle the camera mount onto the servo motor's gearhead. It should be a pretty tight fit, but try not to turn the gear as you do this. Next, use a screwdriver to thread a servo screw through the camera mount and into the gearhead. Then turn the camera mount 90 degrees forward. That'll make it easier for us to install the actual camera. Now you'll need the remaining 256 nuts and the 256 machine screws. Hold the Raspberry Pi camera so it's facing away from you. Then uh, just drop each one of those uh, machine screws through opposing corners. Then flip the camera over. Uh, make sure those screws don't fall out. Then slide the machine screws through their corresponding holes on the camera mount. And to finish up step three, uh, tighten those screws into place with the last two nuts. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or ideas, uh, feel free to drop us a line in our forums or in the comment section below.